Yes. Yes, I understand completely. We'll absolutely be able to help you out with that. I guarantee you. Oh, you must be talking about Yagami. Absolutely. We appreciate any interest you might have. But it's just, uh... Must be so nice to be a rock star. Right, Salary Chan? Gendala, Sari speaking. Yes, Yagami is currently employed by our firm. Same bullshit all day. Guess everyone wants a lawyer who can win, huh? Yagami Sensei? Hey, throw me a bone. I never would have won without a hand from these two. Of course you wouldn't have. 99% of these cases end up in convictions. It makes an acquittal a big deal, even if it was just luck. Talk about a lawyer being a hero. Makes even a former gangster look good. <laughs> Guess so. Wipe that grin off your face. You think you're better than us? I'm no saint. Could have fooled me. You know, you're not gonna win all of them. Trust me, pal. My record's not... Are you listening? Of course. I get the message. Hmm. Well... Shintani's available right now. Yeah, you bet. He's more experienced. Are you hearing that? No, no. Now I'm getting I, uh, tossed your goddamn leftovers. Does <sighs> Shut up, man. Okay, and you're sure? He's as skilled as they come, trust me. But well, that no. just can't be right. He hasn't won any cases. You know how rare that is. <sighs> Haven't you heard 99.9% .9 of criminal court cases end with the defendant behind bars? Pretty ridiculous, huh? right? What? Well, you still want Yagami, though. Man, I am so done. Hey! Can it! Yes. Yes. And you're absolutely sure. I understand. I'll tell him. Who was that? Another call for Yagami Sensei. Big whoop. But the client is Shinpei Okubo. Huh? Not sure I believe that. Ogobo's a free man now. Not anymore. He's been arrested for murder. Come on. We already proved he was innocent, right? It's a new case. He's being processed right now. What they told me is that... He stabbed his girlfriend Emmy to death. Set the apartment on fire. Ogobo would never do that! John. I just don't understand it. Okubo. How could he? day, my career as a lawyer died alongside Emi-chan. Both murdered.
by Shinpei Okubo. Come in, Kaito-san. Are you getting close yet? Yep. Right by the Don Quixote. Heading your way now. You just about see our man? Yep, I got him. He doesn't have a clue, huh? Ah, you're getting good at this. Almost like a pro. Wow, thanks. I always dreamed of being a professional stalker. I'm not sure I'd call it that. You gotta admit, this is crazy, though. A detective tailing another detective? You only see that shit on TV. Crazy or not, stay focused. Right, I'll join up with you soon. Okay. <laughs> Step aside, old man. Piece of goddamn trash. The asshole, he said no! Huh? The fuck are you doing? What? Now, you wanna die, bitch? The hell is his problem? <sighs> What's going on back there, buddy? Uh, looks like I need to teach these punks a little lesson. Need to? Didn't you tell me to keep my head down? Hey, who you call punks, you homeless piece of shit? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Kaito. I'll see you soon, okay? <sighs> so much for being careful. <laughs> Get a load of him! Man, you seeing this shit? <laughs> okay, our boy's a movie star. What? What? How's that? <laughs> <laughs> You're a damn joke. Now let's do this thing!
I'm all done. Kaito-san, where's our guy going? On his way towards Pink Street. Crowd's thinning out. Get your ass over here. Got it. Now make it quick. Any minute now, he's gonna figure out I'm shadowing him. Suspicious. time you pay all the rent you owe. I just need a little longer, okay? Just one more week. <sighs> Another week? I am done warning you. Yes, I assure you. It better be. Bye for now, then. 
Oh, that was close. Someone call me? Kaizo-san. He's heading for the Champion District. Oh, great. We're never gonna find him in that maze. Probably why he's going there. Thankfully, we can always follow him from above. Yeah? Wanna break out the pigeon? Just try to head him off, Kaizo-san. And be ready. On it. Oh, and try not to get carried away. Can't afford to get that thing fixed again. Yeah, yeah. Just don't lose him. Just ducked into an empty lot, Kaito-san. Dead end. We follow him, we blow our cover. What do you think he's doing in there? Probably meeting someone he doesn't want to be seen with. Makes sense. Pigeon's up. Can you see it? Hold on. Hmm. Suspicious. Hey.
There it is. Hold on. I'll send the feed to your phone. Nice flying, Kaito-san. Keep it steady. You've been practicing? Now's not a good time, Talk. C gotta concentrate. Hmm. There's another guy in there with him. So he is meeting someone. Hey, I know that guy. He's a bookie for horse races. Trying to gamble his way to paying off debts, huh? Because that always works. Yeah, well, if they came all the way out here just to meet, he must have the cash on him. Mm hmm? We'll get what we need if we move now. You remember what we're doing here, right? Collecting the debt that detective owns. Oh, I get it. This is our chance. Just relax. Let me do my thing, okay? You got it, Talk. Don't fuck it up. Nice night, huh, detective? Huh? I hear the bookies in Kamurocho make some pretty good deals. You win 10% more, you lose 10% less. They make it sound so enticing. Maybe I should get in on it. Hey, where are you going? Don't you need your money? What the hell is this? Who are you? I'm here to get my client's money back. Before you lose it on another horse. So they hired a thug to collect. Should I be impressed you found me? A thug? Well, that's not very nice. You and I are in the same business. You're... a detective? Afraid so. I hear you're pretty hard to get a hold of. That's why the people you owe came to me. Look, I know you have the money on you. You can't get out of this. Just do us both a favor and pay up. Don't put up a fight. <laughs> well, you're right. I have the money. But look, I'll pay everything back after I win big on this next race. Just wait, okay? Are you serious? I didn't track you down just so you could... Maybe next time! Whoa! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Kaito-san, he's making a run for it. I saw. Where are you going, little guy? Damn it. Get back here.
You need to learn when to quit. Shut up. I have it all figured out. I'll get the money! Didn't you say you were a detective? What's your name? I never said I'd field any questions, asshole. It's Yagami. Take a good look. Now do you believe me? So, let's be civil here. Just hand over the cash, okay? 150 grand sound good? Back the fuck off! You running some kind of racket here? I'll sue you! Oh yeah? Huh? <laughs> you gonna sue? The fuck do you think you are? Huh? <laughs> Hold on, Kaito-san. The hell? You're not a detective asshole, you're fucking Yakuza! Oh yeah? Guess you know what'll happen if you don't pay up then! <laughs> Hey, ease up, Kaito-san. I'm sure he doesn't want to piss you off anymore. I said all right! Listen here, asshole. I'm gonna sue your ass into the goddamn ground. You see this? You broke my fucking nose. <laughs> Don't be so melodramatic. I think we both know who threw the first punch. No, no way I'm gonna let that slide. Just you watch, you'll see the court's gonna... Huh? But that's... a lawyer's badge. So you're not a detective. And? You still want to sue? Uh, you know, you won't know what hit you.
Comrocho. No better place for a night out. A neon city. But the brighter the lights, the darker the shadows. The whole town's run by the toughest Yakuza family out there. The Tojo clan. And the deeper you dig, the more interesting things get. More dangerous, too. Take this burglary ring. Just a bunch of kids looking for kicks. Word is, they met on some sketchy website. Never even seen each other's faces. As for the cops, they can't catch a single one. The only thing anyone really cares about in Kamurocho these days, though, is the murders. Over three months, three Kansai Yakuza have turned up dead. Most think it's the Tojo clan, making some kind of power move in the ongoing turf war. <clears throat> this one's missing its eyes, too. <clears throat> That's not the only thing, though. All three of them were missing their eyes. It's in one little corner of this city that I run a detective agency. I work alongside my partner, Kaito-san. Funny enough, he's ex-Tojo. And me? I'm Takayuki Yagami. Used to be a lawyer, but I put that life behind me three years ago. As for my badge, it's barely even a decoration at this point. Here, I'll scrounge up the rest for you later. What about your cut? I'll get it eventually. All of this goes to the client. Gotcha. Anyway, I'm gonna swing by Genda Sensei's place, see if he's got any work. Don't hold your breath. For a lawyer's office, things are slow as shit over there. Uh, you're aware they're one of our best clients, right? Yeah, yeah, I know you used to work there and all. But don't show up empty-handed. Here, buy him some sweets or something. At least go through the motions. So generous. My boy's all grown up. Don't mention it, Dad. Now get going. I hear they've got some extra fancy dorayaki at the Popo over on Tenkaichi Street. Even come. Huh? Well, Genda sends. Right.
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございましたほらねえ、パル。You just bought some of them Doriaki, yeah? Sorry, but they're mine now. Uh, are they? Look, I've been after one of those things for days. Can't stand for that! Wow! What was that, smartass? Start shit without a real good reason. And that means it was you. You dumbasses jumped the wrong guy.、Uh, no.、Uh, you know this guy's like a son to the Matsugani patriarch, right?、Uh, know what I'm trying to say, asshole? Hey, come on, Cap. Can't we just let it be? No can do. This right here just became a matter of Matsugane family honor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good to meet you. The boss paid his way through law school back in the day. Made him into a damn good attorney. Guy even managed to get a bona fide serial killer off the hook. Seriously? Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> right? Damn shame seeing talent like that go to waste. Huh, totally. <laughs> get this, though. The first thing that killer did when he got loose. Stabbed his girlfriend to death. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> yep. Guy got the death penalty and everything. They get around to hanging his ass talk. Not yet, no. Oh, what the hell's taking him so long? Here. This is the money from that detective. The rest is yours. I already took my cut. Good. You're finally getting the hang of this whole debt collecting thing. Yeah, thanks to you. Hmm. Anyway, how's Kaito? Fine. You mind asking him something? How long's he gonna stick around? Not wise to stay in town after you get kicked out of the family. But, uh. I can look the other way since the boss likes you so much. Speaking of, how's Matsugane san doing? None of your damn business, I'd say. 
Come on, let's go. Hey there, sorry son. Look, Doriaki. Extra fancy. Genda Law Office, where I used to work. Things haven't changed much these past three years. Hello, Yagami san. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You uh, getting situated? Yes. Everyone here is just great. So I hear you're good. Passed the bar with top marks and everything. <laughs> How'd you end up in this dump and not in a bigger office, huh? Huh? Well, you see, that's... Uh... I hear you over there, uh, Yagami. Evening, Genda sensei Other than my real dad, there's two people I look up to like a father. Genda sensei is one of those people. He gave me a job here, before I'd even gotten out of law school. Shintani Sensei out for the night? Uh, I can't keep track of that boy. I'm sure you're happy, though. You don't have to deal with him. Huh? You two can't stand each other. You hate each other's guts. Be honest with me here. Uh, hold on now. Shintani's like a mentor to me. So, about that job you have. If you really want that job, you're gonna have to get along. So show your senpai a little more respect. Oh, Genda Sensei. I got you some Doriaki. Just sit right there, I'll grab you one. Huh? <clears throat> Sorry? Did you eat them all? All but half. Hope you don't mind. 